How's it going gents? Here we are today with my MT-10 SP. That's the Westgate Bridge, just came over that and there's a city. It's a very wintry, uh, rainy, bloody, windy day. So I said, let's go for a ride along the beach, eh? And I'll talk to you about my MT-10 SP. Uh, had the bike for six months from brand new now. And uh, I am loving it, mainly because of this sound. That uh, cross-plane four-cylinder from the R1 man, that CP4 motor. What a glorious, glorious thing of beauty. And that has got to be the, uh, the main piece of theater of this bike is that freaking motor, man. She bloody, she goes, she uh, freaking goes, man. I'm in baby mode right now because uh, it's pretty slippery, pretty cold, pretty wet. Definitely got the uh, wheelie control on today. This thing is, I've got to make a video showing how hilarious this bike is. You put it in like the fastest mode, I put my wife on the back, which gives it even more like wheelie power. Then I put wheelie control on and I just pin it in first, go up first to fourth gear, and the front wheel, it trying to fight the wheelies. Like, it's got so much wheelie power, this bike, that the wheelie control literally can't keep up. Holy sheesh, there's a lot of traffic. What's the fridge is going on? I'm like, where can I ride after work around the city? I'm like, I'll go to the beach somewhere. This freaking bumper to bumper freaking traffic man had the bike for about six months now uh unfortunately I, I really haven't done many really really big rides because um uh it's been winter and also on the weekends i'm i'm always riding dirt bikes like uh dirt bikes are pretty much first priority when it comes to um weekends for me so the reason why you haven't seen like i ride this bike every single day i commute every single day with my wife on the back um but the reason why you really haven't seen that many videos hey papa so fluffy the reason why you haven't seen many videos is because like um you know by the time i get home from work it's dark and uh you can't make videos dark in my gopro just nothing comes out um i have to leave work early just to get a smidgen of light and it's already getting pretty bloody dark um so this lady is just running across the red that's all right lady um so that's why you probably haven't seen many videos i've done a couple little twisty days on it and it's been it's been absolutely great it's such a comfortable bike the um electric olin suspension is is a thing of beauty man um it's uh, i will say it's subtle compared to other uh electric suspension like the wp suspension i tried out in the tiger that was phenomenal you could actually like i swear you could hear it doing stuff it was doing so much or is this the Olin's? I mean, Olin's suspension is just good on its own, so it probably doesn't need that much adjustment to be really, really good um, constantly. Uh, and it's, uh, it's it's very plush. I always keep it in the auto softest mode. Um, I probably wouldn't bump it up to the the hard mode unless I was really, really rocking some uh, some hardcore twisties or on a track day or something. I find the A2 mode is great. Um, if anything, maybe still a little bit too too firm. Uh, but still very very plush very very plush uh, so it has a whole bunch of different modes the electrical on suspension it's got like a hard and a soft automatic mode and then all these manual modes you can set up how pretty is that city right there gents i hope the gopro is getting something out of that because that is nice got a big container ship over there just cruising off um, but man this has been a good bike um, i did make a video about this mt um, telling you the things i didn't like about it a lot of people, oh, I got a lot of weird responses, like a lot of people saying like, you know, oh, you're nitpicking, you're bloody first world problems, and I'm like, I ride a lot of motorcycles, so I can, I can pick out, you know, all modern motorcycles are good these days, so you've got to find the little things that are wrong with them to give any kind of, you know, comparison to other motorcycles. You can't just say every single motorcycle is brilliant, like, all modern motorcycles are pretty damn good these days, so you do need to nitpick those little things to give yourself good comparisons to other motorcycles. So the little things that are wrong with this MT, yeah, they're pretty nitpicking, and yeah, it is a first world problem, you know, bagging out small things on your brand new motorcycle, but I ride a lot of different motorcycles, and I want to be able to tell you the small things that I don't like about them. I also wanted to talk about the uh, exhaust situation. 
because um, in my first kind of MT-10 video, I, I, I did briefly talk about um, uh, the uh, where what I was what was happening with my exhaust situation. So basically, when I bought the bike brand new, I did buy the full Acura, um, you know, the muffler and the link pipe, which connects up to your titanium headers, which basically gives you a full uh, full titanium system. Um, there's a lot of cops on this road, that's why I'm going so gingerly, and it's quite cold and slippery. Um, uh, so I basically had, yeah, the titanium headers going to the titanium acrophobic link pipe and acrophobic titanium muffler. I bought all of that. Uh, the first night I got the bike, I took it home, and I thought, quick and easy, I'll chuck the muffler on. Uh, and then I heard it, and that's what's running right now, and it sounded, let me, let me just get in a bit of neutral. <laughs> It sounded bloody good, man. It, it sounded like a nice, yeah, that cross plane sound, that different sound to a normal kind of Japanese inline four. It sounded brilliant. Uh, and it sounded kind of loud enough for me. And I'm like, ooh, I kind of like this sound. I don't know if, I don't know if I even want to put the link pipe on. And I kind of didn't put the link pipe on for a week or two because I was really enjoying the sound of just the acrophobic muffler. I'll actually stop uh, right outside, I think, a police station. No, we'll stop outside the Titanic. This is a... Uh, this is a, a, a Titanic themed restaurant. We'll stop right in front of this joint. That's a bit more of a cool thing to stop in front of. And I'll show you my exhaust situation. I'm trying not to stop in the uh, disabled parking, even though there's no one here. I still feel bad. The RMS Titanic. I don't know if that gets a lot of business, that joint. It might be going under, just like the Titanic. Uh, the titanium headers, uh, if you can see, you've got uh, where the headers match up to a big cat and a big box. Below, that's also got your um, your exhaust valve, which you electronically can control like butterfly valve, and then the uh, muffler. So right now, I've just got the Acropovic uh, titanium muffler, and all that middle bit is still just factory, and then you get the titanium headers that already come on the bike. Um, uh, so... I bought the link pipe, uh, and it's a bit of a, a bit of a you know dick around to install it. You've got two O2 sensors, you've got a big cat which bolts up into the frame, and you've got an exhaust valve which is a bit dicky. If you muck around with it, the engine code goes off. Um, so I kind of dilly dallied for a week or two and didn't uh, install the link pipe. And uh, after that week or two, I was like, man, I enjoy, I enjoy this sound. It was, it's a good sound, and uh, and it's, it was, because I was commuting every day, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want it to be that much louder, because um, I was commuting every day. And then it was kind of like, up until I went for a ride with my mates, and that's the time when you want a loud motorcycle. When you're with your mates, you're riding through the city, and you've been a bloody bunch of dickheads, and you're revving up your bikes and stuff, and everyone's bike was louder than my bike, and I'm like, ugh. Um, so I'm like, well, maybe I will try out the, the link pipe. But, and then when I was, I was having a look online, and then I found, because the, the acropovic link pipe, just that middle pipe, is literally just a single pipe of titanium, there's really nothing in it, um, was $1,000 from Yamaha. Uh, and then I found online, people had made the same pipe, but out of stainless steel, and it was like 100 bucks. So I'm like, I just bought the bike, I could probably still return the link pipe, the Acura one, and I can buy the $100 one, if I really like it, then I'll go buy the Acura one again. I'll only lose $100 and not $1,000. So, this is getting a bit long-winded, but um, that's the beach, it's the ocean. Very nice, very pretty. Um, so I returned the Acropovic uh, link pipe, I returned it for a whole bunch of Yamaha stuff. I'm like, ah, oh, don't give me cash back, just let me... I bought the tank bag for this, that's why it's got the tank bag hoop. I bought a tank bag, I bought a WR450 FMF exhaust and a whole bunch of lubricants and other Yamaha stuff. I returned that exhaust, I bought the stainless steel link pipe for like a hundred bucks off eBay, and I installed that. Now when I installed that I started up and Jesus it was loud. Uh, the MT-10 with the full, with the link pipe and the muffler is bloody loud. Um, uh, you know, probably not as loud as my BMW or CBR with the SC project, um, but it is, you know, it's bloody freaking loud. You know, it's something you want to probably wear earplugs when you're riding the thing. 
and I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, me and my bloody wife commute early in the morning every day. I'm like, oh, I already don't know about this. And then I went for a ride on it, and Jesus, it's windy as hell. Hope you can hear me. Um, I went for a ride on it, and the whole like characteristics of the bike change. This bike has got phenomenal off the absolute bottom RPM torque. Like it just goes. Um, it really doesn't need that much revs. It really just freaking kind of takes off. The bottom and the mid range is so strong in this bike. When I installed that link pipe, I, I legitimately found a massive change where the power was. It dropped a whole lot off the bottom and um, probably gave it a little bit more up top, but I rarely get up top. You know, it's very, very fast to get up to the top of rev range on a, on a leader bike on the road like this. So I didn't really feel much top end power. So I'm like, oh, it just seems like I've lost power by putting this mid range pipe on, this mid pipe on. Uh, and also the sound wasn't, it wasn't a kind of cross plane Yamaha sound. It sounded more like just a obnoxious loud four cylinder, you know, any kind of Japanese four cylinder bike loud exhaust. And I really didn't like that because I lost that kind of cross plane sound. Now I will say that when you got up into the top of the rev range, it did sound more like a, v, uh, like a cross plane. You, it actually sounded like bloody Rossi's MotoGP bike. It sounded like an R1M or something. Real uh, high up on the rev range, it sounded beautiful. But it's so rare that I'm up that high in the rev range because it's very, very fast on a leader bike on the road. And I don't really, I don't track this bike, so there's no real reason for me to be that high up in the rev range um, on the road. So, ooh, it's just gonna rain again, I think. It's getting dark. Um, and so I really wasn't happy with the sound. Um, really nothing about that exhaust was really exciting me. It also didn't look right because when I showed you before, you can see where the cat is, there's that little shroud. When you've got all of that cat removed, you just have this dead space, this big emptiness. It looked like stuff was missing. All my friends are like, are you missing a panel or something? I'm like, no, that's with the cat removed. Like it just looked weird. So I didn't like the look, I didn't like the sound, I didn't like how it changed the power. Really the only benefit I was getting was that it was lighter. It was a lot lighter because you take the cat out, which is quite heavy. But I'm like, this isn't really a bike where I'm like, it's not like a dirt bike or a, a 600 track bike where I'd like it to be really light. Like, it's just a road bike. I don't care if it's another three kilos heavier. It's not the end of the world. So, hey, papa. So, and then one night I, I got up in the morning, I started my bike up and I'm like, no, nah, I'm changing it tonight. I was sick of how loud it was. I'm an old man now. I couldn't handle how bloody obnoxiously loud it was. That night, I, I took off the link pipe and I put back on the stock pipe. The first first second I got back on the bike and I felt that power come back um, off the bottom, right off the bottom of the rev range, I'm like, no. Nah. The stock mid cap with the servo and all the bullshit emission stuff, it just, it actually felt better. So I'm a big fan of just the Akropovic um, muffler. Uh, but that was talking a lot about the exhaust. I've probably done 10 minutes about that. Maybe this video will just have to be about exhaust, but um, there's not really much to say about the uh, MT-10 SP. I'm just absolutely loving it. Very comfortable, very powerful. The engine is beautiful. The suspension is plush. Um, I am probably going to change the brake pads. As I said in my video about uh, the brakes not having a lot of bite, a lot of people are saying the Brembo SA pads uh, are giving that extra bite that you that you want as transforming the brakes. So I'm going to try that in a little bit. I want to use some of my brake pads. I'm not in a big rush to have full body brakes. I'm pretty used to these right now. So, um, but I will be changing that. And uh, yeah, it's getting pretty dark. So Jesus. Oh mate, You're giving me a wave. Thanks, mate. Old mate, giving me a wave. Thanks for the wave, wave man. 